हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ए प्रॉब्लम टू फाइंड द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन फॉर द सिस्टम हुज स्टेट मॉडल इज गिवन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम द स्टेट इक्वेशन एज वेल एज आउटपुट इक्वेशन इज गिवन फॉर दिस वी नीड टू फाइंड द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन to solve this problem let us use the standard formula for transfer function which can be written as y of s divided by u of s is equal to c into si minus a inverse multiplied with b plus d now in this formula we need to identify what is the value of a b c and d so if you observe the state equation this matrix represents a and this matrix represents b and in the output equation this matrix represents c and in these equations we don't have the term d so that's why we can write the above formula as y of s divided by u of s is equal to c into si minus a inverse multiplied with b here let us find si minus a first for that let us take the inverse then let us multiply all this remaining matrix let us write the matrix a which is equal to 0 plus 1 minus 2 minus 3 b which is equal to 1 0 and c that is equal to 1 0 now let us first find si minus a so we can write s yes. here i is the identity matrix which will be 1 0 0 1 minus matrix a is 0 plus 1 minus 2 minus 3 now let us multiply s with this matrix and we can write s yes, 0 0 Yes. So from this matrix, we need to subtract zero, one, minus two, minus three. So if we subtract these two matrix, we'll get S I minus A as S minus one, two, S plus three. So how we obtain this matrix? So here, S minus zero, it is S. Zero minus one, it is minus one. Zero minus half minus two, it is plus two. And s minus half minus three, it is s plus three. Now let us find s i minus c a inverse. So for this we have a standard formula, which is adjoint of s i minus c a divided by determinant of s i minus c a. Now first let us find the adjoint of SI minus A. So to find the adjoint of this matrix, so if we take the diagonal matrix, we need to replace the term. So in place of S we need to write S plus three, and in place of S plus three we need to write S. Yes. In other diagonal element we need to multiply it with minus one. So we'll get S plus three, S. Yes. Then we'll get one. Minus two, so this is the adjoint of S I minus A. Now let us find the determinant of S I minus A. So here the determinant of S I minus A is S into S plus three minus of minus two into minus one. So it will be S into S plus three plus two. So if we solve this, we'll get S square plus three S plus Two. Therefore, we can write S I minus A inverse will be equal to S plus three one minus two S divided by S square plus three S plus two. Now let us use this formula to find the transfer function. So we can write Y of S divided by U of S. Will be equal to matrix C is one zero. Then S I minus A inverse. We can write it as S plus three one minus two S 
divided by s square plus 3s plus 2 that is multiplied with matrix B that is 1 0 we can write the above equation as y of s divided by u of s will be equal to 1 0 now if we multiply these two matrix we will get s plus 3 and minus 2 so how we will get s plus 3 into 1 plus 1 into 0 so it will be s plus 3 then minus 2 into 1 plus s into 0 it will be minus 2 so it can be divided by s square plus 3s plus 2 now let us multiply these two matrix so 1 into s plus 3 plus 0 into minus 2 so we will be left out with s plus 3 so we can write y of s divided by u of s is equal to s plus 3 divided by s square plus 3s plus 2. So this is the transfer function for the given state model. This is about the problem to find transfer function for a given state model. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.